Hello, I just want to do a short video on the aftermath of the Chelsea shop and the recovery of the garden since we got rid of the rabbits. And this was Chelsea chops. Now, probably nobody else Chelsea chops or uh, Veronica Castles, but they just get too big for us and flop. And once they flop, it's a disaster. And we cut it back. And it looked a bit artificial. You can see the cut, the cut, the cut area there. And it's grown this much since. And each one of those is going to have a flower. So it turned out really well. The, the wart rudbeckia was badly done with the rab by the rabbits. And the rabbits are gone and it's filled back lovely. For the pendula purpurea elegans. Very, very muted pink. Very elegant, true to its name. And I'm trying to all the time go up and down heights. That's the little goat spirit. Uh, a runcus, it's a runcus, um, oh, a cusifolia. And it's, go, it's going over now, but it has nice autumn color. It's actually very hard to get short uh, um, herbaceous plants. And it's very hard to get really tall ones. And there's loads of them in the middle. So this is, Persicaria, but uh, and Plexicolis, but it's a very uh, short flowered one and it looks very different than the other Persicarias. The white shows it off really well. Behind we have a massive clump, a massive, massive clump of yellow uh, Helianthus lemon queen. And I'm glad we cut down this white Veronicastrum, Chelsea chopstick, because it shows off the difference behind in height. And we have a very short stilby, stilby chinensis pumilla, one of the best stilbys, as I keep saying, one of the best stilbys, or one of the best herbaceous plants for a front, for a front place. And it's always, look how, look how tight it is, look how well filled in it is, it's like a carpet, really, really good. And the chinensis stilbys will take a bit more uh, dry weather than the normal stilbys. The ice cream and they were together and I put in grass the, the very tall millennia transparent in between because the, the leaves aren't going to get any bigger but the flowers will come way up but you'll be able to see through them. We have our joint persicaria polymorpha which I have a feeling one of these days the government are going to say no you can't you have to get rid of that. It is very strong. It's one plant, planted about four years ago. But it is very, uh, very striking. But I, I would, it's for the big garden. Look, you think, willow herb, every day, if you were a gardener, every day you would pick up willow herb. And very satisfying to pull them. Really satisfying job. We have more Persicaria here. We have a lovely pink one. Look how lush it is. Really, really lush. And here we have a uh, Joe Pie weed that invited itself. It's a very good one, actually. It invited itself. Eupatorium, Purpurium. I don't know. It just seems to be better than most of them. The flowers go further down the stem. And I keep saying every year that I'll move it, and I never do. We have Astermont and a lovely Philopendula from Japan um, with a, it's kind of a Japanese name, a species. Veronicastrum erica, lovely upright. We don't have, we, I sort of went off Miscanthus grasses for a while. They weren't doing too well for me for some reason. But now they're starting to perform better. I don't know what happened. And we're going to have nice, and the thing about the grasses, what the grasses do is they give a sort of a, a fadey out and they give a bit of sort of restfulness until the more, the, the colourful plants can be harsh in the eye and the grasses sort of faded out. And the miscanthus in Ireland and heavy clay never give any trouble. And they're deciduous. Deciduous grasses are always better than evergreen grasses because they lose their leaves and you start afresh every year. But evergreen grasses, it's very hard to remove last year's dead stuff without 
picking it out one at, one at a time. It could be there forever. The only way, every few years with evergreens, you have to cut to the ground. And a lot of people don't want to do that. Just as for instance with the campus. Have to cut them to the ground every few years. We have goldenrod salad agal that was cut back. That's there. Oh, I can't remember. Oh, I can't remember the name of that one. It's a really good one. And there's salad agal golden mosa that was cut back. We have a little bit of an issue here, a little bit of a gap here. I think that was the rabbits, but the Rebecca is filling in nicely. That was the Re Rebecca that was damaged by the rabbits. It's filling in nicely. I don't normally stake, but we'd have to stake this. That's why I tend not to plant that because it needs to be staked. But of course, I didn't plant it. That's the lick from Delave, right? That planted itself. But we'll give it, we we'll give, give a stake for that. And I didn't plant that either. That came in. Monkshood. Purple loose strife. Dwarf one. I did plant, but it's the dwarf. And what's happening? Nature is starting to take over and it's starting to self seed back to the taller form. We have self seeded fennel. It's actually lovely. A little gap here. And a, and a volunteer. Euphorbia. Look how good, look how rich job high weed is. It's not even flowering yet. Look how good it is. Millennias that were damaged by the rabbits are coming back nicely. And this parasitic area collapsed in the middle. And last year it did the same and I left it alone and it came back from the middle and it flowered perfectly well. And so we're going to just leave it. Goat spirit, the runcus, which was a sort of an early start. Really, really good. Very, very reliable, very easy. And uh, Stilvicinensis superba. The, you, you see how the uh, persicaria should look. Shouldn't have that hole in the middle, but that's the way it should look. And finally, our perennial wildflowers. That's morning sun. Uh, wildflowers, wildflowers, sunflowers. Morning sun. Really good, really reliable. Our, what have we got there? Italian alder. And look. That's our, that's the finish of it here, Prairie Garden, and we have a lovely butterfly bush, the dark one, Black Knight. That's really it. I'm not really going to do any work. I just have, I, I have this as a prop. And look, well, that's very good. That's white fairy, a crystal fairy. And that's very good. I think that's Alastomeria. I think it's one called Bonanza. And finally the bracts are finishing on the dogwood. So we Normally in Ireland it's so windy, the wind does the first. So we leave it a few more days, we get a bit of wind and that'll that'll sort that out. It's a nice view there, David. Hold on. Sometimes when you're gardening, you're so busy gardening, you never actually spend time looking, you know? You sort of feel, that's what you're wasting time, you should be doing stuff. Anyway, uh, very nice, though, that chap who did that, he seems to know what he's, he seems to know something. Okay, that's me, finished from the gardening video that doesn't teach anything about gardening.